Y'all already know what time it is. It's time for another episode of Yes for the Mess. Okay, you guys, it's be your boy Scotty, and we're here for another episode of Yes for the Mess. And today, we are talking about Faith Evans and Stevie J, so let's get into the mess. So there's an article here from TMZ that came out around 1 o'clock last night, and it states that Faith Evans was arrested for domestic violence charges, and apparently she was whooping Stevie J ass. So let's get into the TMZ article, shall we? Faith Evans has found herself in some legal trouble because we've learned the singer was arrested for allegedly attacking Stevie J. Law enforcement services tell TMZ that Faith Evans was arrested earlier this week around 1 o'clock in the morning after cops got called to their L.A. area home. We're told Faith and Stevie got into a heated argument and at some point it turned violent. Our sources say when cops showed up, they noticed visible marks and scratches on Stevie's face. It's unclear about what triggered the argument, but in any event, cops arrested Faith and booked her for a felony domestic violence. Faith bonded out later that day. The arrest comes nearly a year after the couple desperately tried to downplay rumors that their marriage was in trouble. As we first reported, there was pl plausible tension after our camera guy got the couple leaving the Essence Festival in New Orleans. One guy asked them if there's trouble in paradise after Faith and Stevie unfollowed each other on social media. Not to mention Stevie's cryptic string of tweets from drunk people always speak their truth and one's insecurities can damage them to all that glitters ain't gold and cherish what you love just know nothing will last forever we reached out to faith and stevie for a comment and so far no word back now here's what i think about this bullshit okay here's what i think about it are y'all surprised are y'all really surprised by this like come on now y'all cannot be surprised by this number one Faith already knew what type of dude Stevie was when she decided to marry him. She's known him for over 20 years. She knows what type of dude he is already. Number two, Faith Evan ain't no stranger to whooping ass. Then she beat Lil' Kim ass over Biggie and wasn't she fighting Biggie too? So I'm not surprised by all this. Now she is a Newark, New Jersey girl after all. Now you know them, them Jersey girls are fucking aggressive, okay? And I can tell you that because when I was in Jersey two, uh, the last two years, all those women sound aggressive as hell. So I know the tea with them, you know, whatever. But the only thing that I could really say about this is really is... Um, Stevie probably got caught cheating and Faith probably went the fuck off and that was it. You know, that's the only thing I can say about this situation because what other reason would it be for Faith to be wanting to whoop his ass like that? One reason or one reason only. He was he probably was out here sleeping with another woman and she found out about it and she kicked his ass. That's just what it is. But um, the fact that there have been no um, word from neither one of them is very telling. But all I need to, all I gotta say is this, Stevie, you really need to get yourself together because it's really toxic. It seems like every relationship you get in is toxic, and I think that you're addicted to the toxicity. Honestly, I mean, Mimi was toxic, Jocelyn was toxic, you are toxic. Now you're making Faith toxic too. Needless to say, that Faith is an angel because we 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 heard a bit of tea about Faith herself. So we ain't saying that she's some you know angelical force right now but all I'm saying is if you're always always having issues with women and women always want to put hands on you all the time it got to be you you got to be doing something because we already know that you're very manipulative as well as handsome and charismatic all those three things in one bowl is a lot so Steve you need to check yourself and check whatever it is you're doing um all I can say is I wish Faith and Stevie the best to be quite honest because honestly as toxic as it is, I did um, think that Stevie was very happy with Faith. And I felt like um, he was turning into a better man because he was with Faith. But like he said in them tweets, everything that glitters ain't gold. So either Faith cheated, Stevie cheated, one of them got too drunk, 
one of them got too high, it got to be one of the other because, child, what reason would it be for her to want to put her hands on Stevie? What do you guys think? Leave it below. Um, Let's talk about it below, y'all. This is something crazy as hell. You know what I mean? But that is another episode of Yes for the Mess. Be sure to like, rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Do whatever you see fit. Follow me on Instagram at Scotty underscore by underscore nature. Be sure to do that. I do follow back. And if I don't follow back, all you got to do is DM me and let me know that you are a part of team scotty and i will follow you back with that being said you guys until my next video i am out of here um tomorrow me and jamar will be going live again for another episode of the prelude and um lovely lee aka the live with leah show she will be making another appearance again tomorrow night we will be going live at 10 o'clock 9 p.m central time that's 10 o'clock, 9 p.m. Central Time. Me and Jamar for another episode of The Prelude. And Aaliyah will be a special guest once again. With that being said, you guys, I'm out here until next time. I'll talk to y'all later. Please. Peace. Shit. <laughs>